Yo, it's uh, later than I wanted it to be, but uh, we made it. I'm way too far down. There we go. Yeah, that's just like a sweater. Uh, anyway, <laughs> what were we doing? Did we go to the garden already? Yes. Did we help customers already? No. All right, I guess we're helping customers to start. He wants more poison. No, I'm done with bad guys. I don't need to talk to you. You get out of here, stinky. This guy needs my strongest exploding potion. We know where those live. Strong potion of explosion. Or does he want the Gerald special? It is the strongest exploding potion we have. Also, I don't think we... Well, we have nine of them, but I really don't want to spend them. This is all base ingredients, so I think I am going to just brew that up. Here you go. I have the Gerald special. Oh, he loves it. He loves it, dude. This guy heard about a rare fish spotted nearby. It comes out at night and only eats fireflies. If I can give him some kind of glowing potion, he'll make a bait just for that fish and catch it. I don't think we saved glowing potions. But I know where they live. They're, uh... I know where they live. They're, uh... I know where I know where it lives. Come on. Come. You. Oh, here it is. <laughs> That's good. You saw me make it. It's not new tech. Okay, so we want to go down and around this bone this time. We can do that. We'll probably save this recipe too. Grind me up a bit of fire bell to start. Yep. Take me out. Grind me up a bit more fire bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do even more. Just keep adding it. Now, how do we go like down and around? Well, let's use the compass rails to find out. Uh, sort of. But like, not really. Ugh. Honestly, I think we can do this. It's going to be scary. Just hang on. Hang on to your butts. Scary. Bones. I mean, that's also, like, really close, though. But then I need something that goes up, like, this way. Fireball does go up. Hang on. I wonder... Let's try it. You only live once. Oh, it's so scary. Uh, it's not going to be a, a two, that's for sure. But we could do like a fire bell and then a wind bloom. And now we're going to need the precision controls. I almost went too far. Take me like right there. And then dilute. And then just take me a little further. Here we go. That's the stuff. But that, I don't think, is the most efficient recipe we could produce, so I'm not going to save it. I think we can do better. What are you doing in here? Get on the shelf. Any healing potions? Yeah, I got you. Bog standard healing potion? No problem. We make them all the time around here. What do you do when you're not gathering herbs? Yeah, she just goes into the forest. Show me your goods. What is? What are you? A hairy banana. <laughs> uh. Okay, I've never seen one before, so let's grab it. And then I'm going to buy your entire stock of things that are on sale. Do I need to do this? No, hang on. I don't actually need to do this. I only need like 10 of you. Terraria, I need four. A, the water bloom, I do. So really, it's just like, I don't need that much wind bloom. Uh, I will haggle you for this, though. Let me save a little bit of money. Uh-oh. Yeah, grapes, thorns. Yeah, thorns, flowers, leaves, grapes, thorns, grapes, flowers, grapes, thorns. Okay, we did it. It was a little touch and go there for a bit. 
but that's okay. Thanks for the herbs. I appreciate it. Need to poison the rats in your barn? Uh, acid's not going to do it for you. I think I am just going to have to whip you up a poison potion. It sounds like it's for a noble cause. Need a fertilizer for your garden? Yeah, I've got that. That would be the ultimate potion of strong growth. No, that's flexing. We don't want flexing. We want ultimate potion of strong growth. Yeah, this guy. Strong potion of healing growth. Sorry, excuse me. I forgot what it was called momentarily. Lock on your front door is stuck? Yeah, uh, dissolve that shit. You did not look like you had 275 gold, but I'm glad you did. Potion of agility for your magical experiments. Can I interest you in a bad dexterity potion? Glad to help. I would love to sell you a bad dexterity potion. And then do we want to explore the map knowing that we only have five water bloom and we can't really go anywhere to the right? What can we do to the left? Do we see dotted lines? Got acid way out there. We could also go down quite a bit. We've got a lot of terraria. I feel like there's got to be something like in this corner of the map, right? So we want to go like over and then a lot of down. Let's go see what's out there. over and then oh, it's going to take me really close to a bunch of bones what if I go over again then you'd hit that bone well what if you just go like half over and then you go down that looks like it'll work there's got to be some in that corner of the map We're gonna burn a lot of Terraria to get there, though. Okay, and now we want to go, like, down this way. We could just use a bunch of Stink Mushroom. We have 20. We could also try a bit of Mushroom. That would take us a lot further. Maybe we use some of our expensive reagents here, just because of how far they go on the map. Like, they're better suited to explore. Oh, it's another bone wall. Never mind, I guess we go down. No, down. No, that's more bones. What is going on down here? The bone wall is really thin right there. I wonder if we have enough health to go straight across that. We don't really have a potion that does a straight shot diagonal, though. Well, Mushroom kind of does. You want to do something wild? We need to get a little higher than that, though. This is... I'm burning gold. But we're going to burn gold for the sake of discovery, because that's what it means to be an alchemist. It means you just waste resources. Not quite. I need to go up. I don't need to go that far up, but I need to go up. And now what do you do? Yeah, you take me across at like the thinnest point. What you got in there? Also, does this even work? Uh, yeah, it works. All right, what you got in here? Oh my God, there's a potion through another bone wall. How do I even navigate in here? That takes us into a bone wall. We could go here and then up. This shit better be worth it. Yeah, you can go straight up. Oh, I forgot to grind it. Oh, I could have made that go so much further. All right, well, that one we don't need to grind. Grind. 
that we don't really need to grind. I just want to get down a little bit. Can someone help me just get down a little bit? No, we're going to have to do a bit of grinding on this fire bell. We're going to have to go like that. And then we're going to have to go... Not like that. Man, it's tight in here, isn't it? Holy cow, look at that XP, though. Hmm, Weird Shroom kind of works. And now we can just fire bell over there. Okay. Now we go down. That's Terraria. I kind of want to go this, this style of down, though. Yeah, there's just, like, XP in the balls. That's interesting. I wonder what the purpose of that is for. Oh, you're perfect. You are exactly what we want to do. Okay, that was much closer than I thought it was going to be. One of you unground. And now, like, swing me up. That's going to be really dangerous. But I think we have the life for it. Come on, get across it. There we go. Okay, and now it's just one of these guys. Take me to, like, here, and whatever this potion is is going to be a three-star, that's for sure. After the work that we went to to get out here. Come on, get away from that wall. There you go. There you go. Okay, dilute. What are you? <sighs> Strong potion of necromancy. Oh, that's neat. It makes you go through like death to get to it. Um, this is heinously expensive, but I'm gonna save it because it's a nuisance to get out here. So I'm gonna call this one, given that we want to refine it, like a hopefully no. Mediocre potion of undeath. Medi mediocre. Mediocre. Yeah, this... Okay, so what's a necromancy effect? I would argue that a necromancy effect is a potion that instills magical properties. So it's going to go over here. Okay. That's all we're doing tonight. I'm tired from making a necromancy potion. Take me to bed. Yeah. New day begins. Show me the garden. My garden or earthly... Ah, you were hiding back there? No, no. I see you. Okay, what are we selling today? Uh, where's my potion? Did I not finish this? Oh, sorry, I left it in the cauldron overnight. Ah, it's probably fine. They don't go bad. Show me your goods. So if these teleport, like I think they do, I think that's what the dotted line means, then that's like a way to get through parts of the bone wall at an extraordinary cost. Anyway, I'm not going to buy any of those. They're not on sale. Get out of my store. Good beer should be en enjoyed cold. Beer that is always cold. Do you visit the south often? No? Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, I can do that for you. I've got an ultimate frost potion. We know how those work around here. Here you go. 76. How about that? Lantern that won't start a fire if it breaks. Oh no, we're going to have to make another glow potion. Which means we're going to have to figure out a better way to get over there. None of you are going to do it. Maybe our best bet is to go, like, up and over. 
So Weird Shroom would like kind of do it. Goblin Shroom won't. Dryad Saddle won't. Man, I don't know. Glow Potion is annoying. Can we do anything else that won't start a fire if it breaks? Or light a lantern if it breaks? Oh, there's also a potion right there. We need to get to that tonight. Um, alright, fine. Let's try and make this happen. We already know how to get over there, mostly. Yep. Go out here. Go out here. Give me a third one. And then can we can we do anything like Bizarro? Dude, honestly, Harry Banana might do it. Let me take a look at this. But come back. Yeah, and then? No, Harry Banana does not do it. Stink Mushroom. Stink Mushroom and... Mad Mushroom might kind of do it. Let's try that, although this might kill the potion. Uh, I'm not going to grind you, actually. You're going to go in unground. I feel like this is just what we tried last time. But maybe not. No, it definitely is. Uh, sulfur Shelf actually will basically get me on top of that. So let's do Sulfur Shelf. I'm not using it for anything else. Two... And then dilute. He's done it. Okay, save it. I think that's good enough. Good enough to save for now. This is a material properties for sure. And we're going to call this a ultimate potion of light bottle I feel like you kind of got to go with the star for this and then the label it can make it like a little yeah no it looks weird that's also probably fine anything better than a sun for light not that I'm seeing immediately I do think this crystal's kind of fun, but it doesn't really convey light. What about like a flint? No, because then it's like, what if it's a fire potion? Eh, you can just be a, you can be a sun. We'll keep you default. Not everything has to be fancy. Finish it. Sell it. 208. Okay, so actually you make quite a bit of money off that potion. Anything that can make your vegetables big again? Yeah. Should I make just like a, a three-star growth potion in case people don't need health? I feel like we do just automatically get it on the way, but I don't exactly remember the route. It's Water Bloom, Terraria. I do think we just kind of get it on the way, so it really doesn't matter. We'd have to use these to get down there anyway. So yeah, brew it. Ooh, he needs another potion. Yeah, what kind of potion do you need? Surrounded by a whole cloud of bugs. Uh, protect our cream for your skin to keep insects from biting. Yeah, I've got a... I don't have a become stone potion. Right? Let's double check. If we had it, it would be over here in material properties. Or, no, I need to rework my spellbook, man. Nothing makes internal consistency anymore. I don't think we have a stone skin potion, though. So the way we're going to make a stone skin potion is we're going to go over one. And then we're going to go down a lot. Anything that takes me down further, faster, better, stronger? You could just use the mud shroom. Yeah, whatever. It covers like twice the distance. OK, 
Okay, and then Terraria takes us perilously close to Skulls, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're fine. And then give me one more. And then take me over like this way. That would do it, but it takes us deep into bone territory. AKA the bone zone. And I don't want to get taken into the bone zone. Life Leaf almost does it. We could do like Life Leaf plus Water Leaf. I wish there was something that carried us a little, just a little further, because we're not quite going to be able to distill that or dilute that. When you go up, you do kind of go, okay, so we could use Windbloom for it instead. Let's try this out. I think this might work. Boom. And then, oh yeah, this will work just fine. Stir gently. And then here. Dilute. Mm, got it. Okay. Save recipe. Uh, ultimate potion of stones. Ultimate potion of hard skin. There's other stuff besides stones that are hard. What if we just put it in like a tiny vial? Like you can't even see the label on it. What if it didn't even have a label? What if it was just like a guy? We haven't done one of those before, so that could be fun. For now, you're going to go down here. We need to rearrange our whole potion book. It's all wrong, and it makes no internal sense. Uh, yes, bring me more kinds of mushrooms. And then show me your goods. What you got? Yeah. Mushrooms, I think I'll only go to, like, 20. And then maybe, like, main herbs, I'll keep it 30. And then other stuff, I'll go even lighter than that. Uh, Dryad Saddle goes down. How much do we have? Six? Okay. Weird Shroom? Sure. Shadow Chanterelle. Do we have that yet? We do. We have three. So we'll want 17. And I will haggle this since I'm going to give you almost a thousand coins. Don't misclick. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. It's a deal. Now get out. Go pick your new mushrooms for me. Potion that makes you stronger, faster, and more agile. Rage. Oh, he loves it! Yeah, sure, dude, have it. Throat's been sore for a few days? Yeah, I got a... Ooh, you know what would be fun for this? Is like a, a health plus a just a little dollop of frost. Get that nice, like, soothing menthol on your throat. So we're going to go continue building from here. And then... I kind of, like, distill it, or dilute it a little bit. And then we could go up with a Shadow Chanterelle. Okay, let's figure this out. And then to, like, here... Grind it like that much Whoop. and then take it up and over with what a second shadow chanterelle i guess okay and we just we just need one frost for this really we don't want to make it too frosty because we don't want to like freeze your throat we just want to give it that nice little cooling sensation so we're going to save it. We're going to call this one... Uh, we're going to call this, like, Minty Cool Breeze Healing Potion. <laughs> sure. We're going we're gonna to revise this. This... This cookbook's making, like, no sense right now. Take the label off. It doesn't need a label. Just give me that nice-looking bottle. Yeah, yeah, Minty Cool Breeze Healing Potion. 
38. It's like the same price as a normal healing. Okay, he doesn't care. But you know what? It matters to us. You want to be quick as a turtle? What? <laughs> uh. Mm, I mean, technically, you would be quick as a turtle. So yeah, take it. It's been on the shelf for a while. I don't need it. Do I have a way to make it cooler inside the barn? Yes. You, I'm not going to do anything special for. I don't feel like I'm being rewarded for thinking of the customer, so you're just going to get like a normal potion. Wow. Yeah, you're probably not going to want the Minty Cool Breeze healing potion. I think you're just going to need like an ultimate healing potion if you got kicked in the ribs by a horse. I think we just got to give you the strongest dose we have of the good stuff. And then get out. Not a bad day overall. Also, we got a level. Yeah, give me all chemical practice. And then, I guess that's bad. We're still waiting for our wizard friend to show up so that we can buy the parts to the alchemy machine, but we have almost $3,000. So I have to imagine that when he does show up, we'll be able to afford it. Take me outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free stuff. And then take me over here. It rained, and he brought the firewood in. Didn't bring the firewood in, now it's damp, and it won't burn. Uh, yeah, I've got, like, a fire potion somewhere. No, that's an explosion potion. I still don't have a three-star fire potion. Let's get this resolved. This is an embarrassment. Coming to the best alchemist in town, you're like, can I just have a basic fire potion? And he's like, no, I can't. It's, that's beyond my technology. I have created potions that can bring the dead to life, but I cannot create a potion that produces fire. It's shameful, is what it is. Fireball... I think we've tried this and it doesn't quite do it. I think Sulfur Shelf might. I think it might do it. But I have to imagine that there's a point... Let's try this. Because if we can get this right, we will be gods among alchemists. Okay? We're going to move this X to exactly the top of this line. And not a millimeter further. Okay. Careful. Careful. It's still going up. It's still going up. It's still going up. Okay, it's going down. Stop. Stop everything you're doing. Oh, it's going to be really tight. No, it's not going to do it. Oh, uh, and I think I over diluted to use wind bloom in it, but let's try. You know, I can live with it. Save it. Ultimate potion of fire. I hope this is worth it. No, you're weird. Oh, I like you. You're like a, a bottle of hot sauce. Ooh, and you're like a file. I like these. Do they fit the, like, fire theme? No, this one probably does fit the fire theme better. Or this wide boy. No, that's like a balm. These are like water bottles. Hmm. Let's put it in like a test tube, or a, a flask, an Erlenmeyer flask. You can have like a vertical, a vertical label. That'll be fun. And then do we have a better fire? I kind of like this. Are we using this yet? No, we're not using this yet. All right, so producing fire from nothing is definitely a magical effect. So that's going to go over there. And then finish it. You have no idea how hard I worked on that potion, but I'm appreciative that you're paying commensurate to the amount of effort that I put into it. 
no more than three types of ingredients and something that keeps you safe from dangers during battle. That strikes me as like a potion of flexing just to become strong because there's only one ingredient in it. And they're cheap. Like if you like this. No, but you'll be strong. All right, fine. What else do I got back here? Uh, d on death? Probably not. That's got five types of ingredients. Bad dexterity potion might be good. Here, do you want a, a bad dexterity potion? No? Do you only want stone skin? What the hell? Also, what are you? Oh, minty cool breeze healing potion. Right, sorry, I forgot. I wish I could change that label. Oh, I can change the label. Minty Cool Breeze Healing Potion. I want... Is there a picture of, like, a throat? No, it doesn't appear to be, like, a picture of a sore throat. Good for now. Um, how... I feel like you want a Stone Skin Potion. So how do I make a Stone Skin Potion only using three ingredients? Or is there anything else that would keep you safe in battle? I don't see anything. So, let's see. We can use Terraria to get to, like, here. Is there anything that does, like, a big wide circle? It would probably be under fire if there was. You're not quite right. You're not quite right. A Dryad Saddle does, but it would take us through the Bound Zone. Weird Shroom doesn't go far enough out. The Cheater's way to do it is to go, like, down, over, down, over. But that burns a lot of the Water Bloom that we have. And let's give it a shot. I don't think we can do any better than this for now. Also, can I just, like, queue these up? I can just queue these up. Very interesting. Okay. So you're going to come in here. And you're going to come in here. And then... You would just go right through. So we don't want to do that. We want something that goes over like this. Carry Banana is not going to do it. You're not going to do it. So it's going to have to be Firebell. And then you come over here, and then we go down again. Because I don't think there's anything that swings us over into this quadrant well enough. Yeah, none of that. So you're just going to have to come straight down with some Terraria. Okay. Now, we want to go, like, sort of like this. We could put Life Leaf in, and we could dilute. It's not going to be a three, but it would get there. Oh, I'm, I'm willing to call it good enough. Honestly, this is such a weird specialty potion that just getting a tattoo should be fine. Meow. And then we dilute. And I think we can get to two here. Nope, just kidding. Guess what? Because you're the kind of person who reads the labels on vaccines, you are only going to get a very weak potion as a result. Open your own alchemist shop if you're upset that it doesn't have that many different kinds of ingredients into it. Hunt game better? Yeah, bad potion of dexterity. It'll help him out a lot. Doing more enchanting and your mana has run out. Potion that'll help restore it. Do I have a level 3 mana potion yet? I do. It uses up all of our water bloom. But that's fine. Here, this is the last water bloom that we had in the shop. I hope you appreciate it. Oh, thank god. Uh, yeah, what kind of potion do you need? Potion that helps you see in the dark? Yeah, that would be a uh, weird potion of glowing. 
ultimate potion of light. Sorry, I forgot what I called that. Here, have this star. And then show me your stuff. Tangleweed. Don't have any, so why don't you just load me up? Goldthorn don't have any, so why don't you just load me up? Hairy banana. Okay, hang on. These are like weird specialty ones. I'm only going to go to 10. Like, look, water bloom and stuff, that's your bread and butter. You got to stock that. But this stuff that just like goes all over the place, it's not, you don't need it in bulk. So give me, give me like some of that going on. He's the best to ever do it. I will absolutely pay 400. He clutched it. He absolutely clutched it. All right, get out. Who else you got? Sold you a potion that made your stomach hurt and gave you the runs. Man, look, that is not indicative of the average alchemist experience. I'm glad you've come to me because I can help you with this. I don't know how you screw up a healing potion that bad, but here, slap one of those on you. You've also been feeling nauseous. Stop going to other d potion sellers. Would be uh, my expectation for that. He needs a potion that'll keep a wounded boar from running off. What was this again? I don't think it was flexing. I don't think it's necromancy. I don't think it's lightning. Um, oh, a potion of slowing, I bet, is what he wants. Alright, so how do we make a potion of slowing? Do we have one saved? No. We do not. How do we get to it? Where does it live? No, really, where does slowing live? This map is so big, dude. Oh, here it is. Well, that's a weird one. Yeah, it's going to be an expensive one, too. Because I don't have a lot of ways to move over to that side of the map. Oh, I do now with Tangleweed, actually. So where's a good space to line up a Tangleweed? If we can get to, like, here, we can Tangleweed all the way over there. So we just have to get to Stone Skin and then go even further beyond. Which is doable. What if we went this way? What do we have for that? Because I'm thinking we go, like, diagonally and then down and then over. And maybe that works. I don't have anything that goes diagonal like that, though. Hmm. Well, give me three of these. Let's try this out. One. Two. Three. Here's the potion base. This is your bog standard potion of strength. Now, the idea here, I'm hoping you understand, dear customer, is that you throw this at the boar. That you do not yourself drink a potion of slowness. Do we have an understanding? Because if I go through all this work to make you a potion of slowness, and you're like, no, I need to make the boar slow, not me, idiot, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to ban you from this store. You will never come back here again. Get me to, like, there. And now I need to, like, wrap around. Oh, Weird Shroom would actually be kind of sick if we could get a little further down. I should have used more of the Mud Shroom. Look at that. It would have been so good. Well, okay, Goldthorn also kind of does it. It actually, like, really does it. Take me to, like, there, and then I can sort out the rest. Now I need to go straight over to Water Domain. And let's use something cheap here, because it's not a big move that we really need to make. Like, in an ideal world, it would be Water Bloom. And I guess Water Bloom is, like, pretty cheap on a normal day. So, even though this is our last water bloom, 
I think it's fine. Take me over just a little more. I'm not quite on the line. There we go. Okay. I don't have the pages to save this. What don't we use? Sorry, Minty Cool Breeze Healing Potion. You had a good run. I need that page now, though. I need it for my ultimate potion of slowness. It'd be fun if there was like a snail shaped bottle. With like a big shell. Could put it in a vase. If I were a flask that embodied slowness, what would it be? Would it be like a bear flask? Would it be a t-shirt flask? Maybe it's just you. It's just that guy. Okay, finish it. Thank God he knows how to use a potion. Bad case of the runs. Okay, you're not gonna like this because I just um, used up my last water bloom. But I think I can like I can whip you up something. I am a alchemist after all, or at least simulating one. So take me down here and then like, yeah, tangleweed will get there. Get me to here. And then I can dilute from there. Probably. Maybe? No, I missed it just barely. I'm very sorry about your case of the runs. This is the best I can do for you. And you're getting a deal on that, because I'm pretty sure that Tangleweed is more than 26. I hope you appreciate that I'm taking a loss on that sale. Okay, now that it's nighttime, we want to find out what that is. That's going to be a really difficult gap to shoot. So before we do anything else, we're probably going to have to line up like what herb is going to do it. And it might be like only witch mushroom and nothing else. So I guess to start, get me over there. Let's get me in like the neighborhood. No, you know what? This is stupid. I don't... I do not have the materials to do that potion tonight. I need so much water weed to get over there that it's not even funny. I wonder what's down here. Like, look at how much more of the map there is. We got through this part and there's so much more stuff down there. Maybe we could get in there. That looks fun. You want to do that? I do kind of want to do that. Oh no. Yeah, get back in there crush it. That's where we'll go tonight. Because if there's two things that I can do really well, it's go left and go down. Wait, hang on. Go south. I mean, he can go down. Anyway. Give me that book. And then you... No, I want to go like a little more like that. I think Marshroom gets us around that corner, if I remember correctly. So get me to, like, here, and then... Like, it does, but I don't love it. Banana also kind of does. Oh, they're so weird. <laughs> Grind it quick. They're bizarre. Okay, yeah, give me a couple books. It's not super optimal. Take me over and then up. Dude, this place is gonna suck too. I can already see it in there. Okay, so we go like that, and then we need to do like one, uh. Like one, uh. Like one of you. Weird Shroom is gonna get us in there. Okay. So we're going to go over, and then we're going to Weird Shroom. Let's zoom in so we can see better. Where is my Weird Shroom? Here you are. Oh, you're perfect. 
You're beautiful, Weird Shroom. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, yeah, get me in there. And then we're going south. We're getting perilously close to the bone wall. So that's uh, concerning. He, he's done it. Now what? <laughs> this sucks in here, dude. Give me like a stink mushroom without grinding it. And then give me like most of a fire bell, but not all of a fire bell. Take me to like here. Okay. And then take me up. Take me up like a different way. Okay, it's only you. I'm going to trust that you can live through a, a journey to the bone zone. He did it! He's the best to ever do it. Okay, now survive another trip to the bone zone, but like from the other wall. You can you can live through anything. You're so strong. Okay, take me to like here. Because if you can take me to here, then a mad mushroom goes like straight up and to the left. Oh yeah, it's perfect. You're gonna go to like here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we've navigated that bullshit. Now what? Just like go up. What's out here? It really opens up. I see one dotted line. So we're heading out this way now. There's a potion out here. And no one is more surprised than I am. Is there anything? There's a lot of big books out here, too. Wait, why is it, like, upside down? Look, it's, like, tipping out. Are you okay, Potion? Can I grab something that like loops me around with that those books? Do I care that much? I mean, I'm like, as long as I'm out here, I might as well grab some books, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mad Mushroom will do it, and then we can just come south to some Terraria. And maybe we'll see other stuff. Is that the map edge? Okay, I gotta burn one more herb just to see if we're actually at a map edge. Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, it's a map edge. Okay. Now what? Uh, we could Terraria into a pretty heavy distillation. You know what? Give me all of it. So that I can kind of err on the side of caution with this. So go like here, pull it back, and then go like here, and then pull it back, and then go like here, just so I can see the line. There's the line, and then pull it back. Only level one. I need, like, some way to rotate my potion to get it to line up to three, and I haven't found anything that does that yet, so that's interesting. I guess I'll just take the level one. Weak potion of enlargement. Okay. I'm already using an icon for that, so that's going to be a problem. You might be going back to muscle territory. Where's the flexing arm? It's up there. No, I wanted, like, the guy flexing with both arms. Where's he? Here he is. This guy. Let's give him, like, some some blonde hair. No, not a blonde bo Well, I guess that's fine. I just feel like, you know, he should be a guy who gets out if he's lifting muscles. He should have, like, a nice tan. Bit of a dusky demeanor going on. He matches the potion. He's a strong guy. 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, that was all like my nighttime training ritual. Crazy. So now I'm like, I wonder what's down here. There could be even more potions down there. It's just, it, the amount of material to get you out there is insane, dude. Those potions better be worth like thousands of gold when we finally manage to sell them. Because you burn reagents like nobody's business to get into those parts of the map. Oh, let's look at this quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we finished that. We're on, we're on chapter 3 now. We only need to repair the alchemy machine. That's it. Can I just repair an alchemy machine? Can my wizard friend just come visit for a day? Can wizard come over to play? An exploding potion? Yeah, I got you. You want the Geralt special? It's a sick looking potion, dude. Want to enchant your staff so you can light your way at night or in dark dungeons? I have that. That would be a ultimate potion of light. Protection potion for battles. Tell me we saved stone skin. We did, but we don't have life leaf. Ugh. So what else could protect you in battles? Poison? No? You don't you're not interested? Alright, fine. Oh, let's go brew a stone skin potion. How do we want to do this? Well, it's going to start with Traria, for sure. You're going to take me down here. We're going to do like three of you. Very standard potion base. Gets you to a lot of different things. This would be like an intermediary that we sell to aspiring potion crafters if they wanted to come in and like set their own shop up. This is the base that we'd give them. And then we need to come over here to the left. We're going to do Firebell for that, which we are running low on after our adventures last night. And then we're going to go down again, so that's going to be your standard Terraria. And then this is going to be something of a specialty brew. So show me something that gets us, like, sort of down that way, and I'll make do. You have shown me literally nothing that gets me down there. Fine. If you want to be that way. We can do this and we can do Tangleweed. We're going to need to mash it. You're killing me here just for what it's worth. I hope you know. And I don't think we're going to be able to pull a three out of this. The best I can do for you is a two. Sorry, just don't have the right stuff in stock. Nothing personal. How long have you been gathering mushrooms, mushroom guy? 50 years. So he's only like 60? It looks pretty good for 60. What are you, mushroom? Stink mushroom. Give me four of that. Foggy parasol. What the heck? What does it mean? Oh, it just lets you gather a bunch of XP. Okay, so we're not going to need many of those at all. Give me like five. I, I can't imagine we ever use that in an actual potion that we sell in this shop. That's like a discovery potion for sure. And I don't need to haggle with that. I'm not buying much today. A lot of your stuff's expensive today. I hope you know. Chant an amulet to increase the wearer's strength. Yeah, I have an ultimate potion of flexing. Always need mana potions? I can do you a mana potion, probably, as long as it doesn't use uh, three water... Oh, water bloom? Wait, do we have water bloom? We harvested water bloom this morning. Okay, I can afford to make you one. And hopefully no one else needs water bloom when they come in, because you just used up all of it. Potion that will enhance your abilities? Uh, would you like to become larger so you can <laughs> read the scroll? No? Okay. Uh, a potion to enhance your magical abilities. How do we get to a mana potion if we can't go to the right? Oh, a lot of witch mushroom will take us there. Hang on. 
This could be like an alternate magic potion recipe. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, brew it up, yeah. It is going to take four. That's a little annoying. But it's not going to take many more than four. It's not going to take any more than four, in fact. Okay, slow me down. And then land me right on there. And then dilute. They are saying that he is the best potion maker to ever do it. Finish it. I need more pages, man. There you go. Handled. Like a professional. Uh, I still don't have the water bloom to get over here to where I want to go. Could go up. We haven't really explored a lot of up. Like, what do you think is out here? We can't go over very well, but we could do like one, it's like three mad mushroom and then we'd be going up a lot. Also kind of want to swing over there. Do want to make it down there eventually. How easy is it for us to go down? I still have 27 Terraria in the, in the stock. We'll go explore down tonight. Okay. This part I can do blind. I don't even need to look at it. It's three Terraria. No, don't show me. I was doing it blind. Anyway. Take me down. Take me over just one. And then take me down like one more. And do not take me down like one more. Now I want to go like this way. Ooh, we could do something fancy here. Take me down by like a half. And then take me around and look at the distance that we get off of that. We are moving. Mudshroom is some great stuff. Recovering large distances very quickly. A dotted line. Oh god, it's going to be in this nightmare. Oh, I wish I had crystals for a time like this. Like, that's so narrow, I honestly don't even know if I can fit through it. What's the narrowest gap we fit through? Like, here? And it was scary. And here, and it was pretty scary. Look at how narrow that shit is. I can't do that. You're out of your mind. Okay, take me down most of this take me to like here and then I can tangle weed oh it's gonna show us in there too you must need a crystal for this like you must have to use a crystal for that there's no way I could fit through that my potion's way too fat look at the size of it Okay, so now, yeah, give me like one more and then we can just go straight down with some Terraria. I don't know, man, I'm just winging it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> At least this one looks like we can fit through it, but now it's making us go to the right, and I'm like, I don't have the stuff to do that today. I can't do that. Do I have anything that... I mean, like, honestly, kinda. We're gonna be taking a trip to the Bone Zone. But if you can get me to, like, here... Then maybe I can work with that? Oh, it's close. <laughs> okay, now what, smart guy? Witch Mushroom is not quite gonna do it for you yet. I think you need to burn, like, one water bloom, and then you can witch mushroom. And that's your last one, so I sure hope you know what you're doing. Shadow Chanterelle will actually do a great job here.
Take me to like there. Okay, come on. Just get around this corner and then you're so in business. If you can move just a little further to the left. Tangleweed might do it. We're going to spend a ton of time against the, the bone walls, but... Okay. Okay. Now. Where's my boy? Sort of. Also, kinda, sort of. Also, sort of. Dude. Next time the mushroom guy stops by, I'm buying like 40 mud mushrooms. This is so good. Oh, there's a potion over there. I hope that's not the potion I'm working my way towards, because I can't get to that shit. Not from in this hellhole. Okay, stink mushroom, like, kinda. Just to, like, there, though, otherwise you're going to be too close to the bones. And then... No, that's going to be too much time against bones. Uh, stink mushroom, raw... It's very scary. It's really scary. But if it works, we will be as gods. Come on. There's no way this is working. Are you insane? <laughs> oh, and we knew where it was. It was within our grasp. Well... Tomorrow's another day. We'll give it a shot then. I just... I need to buy so many materials from people. I mean, level me up. I, I care a lot about visibility radius now. Although... This lets us buy more stuff. I need it all. I just need to farm all the XP. Okay, what you got for me? I'm in a... Oh, thank God, it's the wizard. Alchemy machine. Yes, I do want to take a look. Creating solutions in the alchemy machine is the pinnacle of the alchemy arts. Grinding herbs and brewing potions in a cauldron is, of course, no easy task either, but the machine will take your potion craft to the next level. If you think you're ready to solve the mystery of the Philosopher's Stone and other legendary substances, you'll have to spend a lot of time experimenting with the machine, finding the best recipes. Okay. Show me your goods. It's only 1600 I can afford that all day. And your pages are on sale? Uh, how much reasonably could I spend here? I'll spend, like, 3 k Never mind. It's it's easier than that. I will absolutely haggle this. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was action-packed. Uh, 1500 Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Get out of my store. Landslide in the mountains and a tunnel leading to your village is blocked. How do you get home now? You get home with a potion of exploding. I can make two Geralt specials. I can only make one strong potion of explosion. But this is just water bloom, and I really need water bloom for like a lot of other stuff. So I think you're just going to get a strong potion of explosion, and I'm going to hope my mushroom friend shows up today. Help you work the whole day long without tiring. Would you like to become larger? No, that's not going to do it for you? Okay. Whole day long without tiring. I don't know. Probably like an ultimate potion of flexing, if I had to guess. Here, try some flex 2.0. Do I have anything to make hair grow? Probably. I'm going to guess you need one of these bad boys. I need to buy so much from you. It's not even funny. Oh my lord, look at these deals. Bloodthorn. Terraria, how much do we need? We need eight. Hairy banana, we only need one more. Dangle root, we need like six. Bloodthorn, take me to ten. Water bloom, no joke, give me all of it. What are you? Lava root. Wow, that goes everywhere. It's everywhere you want to be. I need one of you. 
What are you? Thunder Thistle. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me some of these too. I'm gonna haggle with you though, because it's like a lot of money to spend on herbs. I know it's your livelihood too, but it's my livelihood too we're talking about here. Thank you. Okay, that helps us a lot. Pay extra for a potion made from three types of ingredients, no more. You ate something off. Yeah, this is just going to be like a healing potion. What kind of insane alchemist are you going to that needs more than three ingredients for a healing potion? Best if the potion is weak, don't ask why. Battle with an ice dragon, weak potion. That seems to me like it would be a fire potion one, which would just be three fire bell. Gets us a couple books along the way too. Yeah, and then a third one. Just take me out to like there. Potion one. Oh, you can click on them to finish them. That's fun. Here, put that in the inventory. Put that here. Need a potion that makes you as fast as the wind, and you'll pay extra if the potion has wind bloom in it. So that's going to be this haste potion up here. And wind bloom, I think, is the stuff that goes up. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is just going to be like three wind bloom. Grind it. Grind it. It's going to be like four wind bloom. Do I have this potion saved? This seems very easy to make. No. Okay. And then a fourth, and you're going to only go to like there, and then I'll have just a little bit of room to dilute. It's going to be really close. Please? Please. Please? Come on. Come on. This is the stuff that famous alchemists are made of. Come on. Oh, it's getting further away now. No. No. Fine, you're getting a potion too. There's a there is a potion of swiftness three in there somewhere. I didn't find it just now, but there is a potion of swiftness three in there. And holy cow, if we could turn four wind bloom into two hundred dollars, the potion would be the the profits would be insane, truly insane. Potion that increases endurance. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Different kind of endurance we're talking about. I understand. Sorry, I I didn't realize you want that guy. Get out. Potion to restore your magical power. Yeah, that would be a mana potion three. We've got that for you. There you go. Take it and get lost. Now, what is this alchemy machine? Oh, these are effects. Three poison, three strength, three stone skin, three slow, three sleep. I have a couple of these already. So give me you. You're going to come down here. And then I just put you in there. Yeah. Okay. So give me the, uh, where's the potion of flexing? Brew it. You're going to go here? No, wait, check. Yes. You go here. Good. Three star potion of stone skin. Yeah. You go below it. 
And then three star potion of sleep. We have that too. That's the last one we can brew. Let's make sure we're putting it in the right place. It goes in the big triangle boy. And then three star potion of slow. Can do that one too. Okay. And then we pull this. What does it do? What do we get? Oh, it wasn't finished. I see. Negredo. Complete decay, blackness. Just as darkness contains the possibility of light, the substance has the potential to reveal the Philosopher's Stone. While working to create it, you got a better understanding of how the alchemy machine works. New knowledge helped you restore one of the damaged recipes, and now I have the recipe for Elbido. So, what do you do? I guess you just, like, don't do anything? And then what- oh my god, <laughs> it's so complicated. What? Okay, hang on. We have some of this. Three Frost. Yep, Ultimate Frost Potion. We can do that. You're going in here. Triple Dexterity, my nemesis. Uh, wait on that for now. Triple Mana. Going in the big triangle, boy. Our crystal goes in here. I don't know what that is. That's triple swiftness. God, we we need to figure out how to do that triple swiftness. And then triple swiftness, double dexterity. Mana, something, something. And then something, dexterity, mana. Holy cow. Um, do I have enough to explore out here and figure out what that spot is yet? I do have eight. But what I really need is something that's good at going... Oh, Thunder Thistle is, like, exactly right. So I think if I can get it here, like, right there, I can Thunder Thistle my way right through that. I'm gonna go for it. This is what knights are for. No customers to bother you. Just you and the cauldron. You know what I'm talking about? No? Ah, that's fine. You wouldn't understand. It's an alchemist thing. It's not quite where I want to wind up. That's where I want to wind up. Give me that shadow chanterelle. To, like, here? I think. Hopefully that's good enough. No, it's not. I need to go up a little. Son of a... Son of a... It's... Oh, I've, I've screwed it all up. He's beansed it, as they say. Okay, now you need to, like, come down a little bit. You're you're really making a, a pile out of this. Bring it back a little more. Use your water bloom. Get to, like, there. Maybe that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay. You're going in unmodified. And you're coming straight through, and then we're going up. Piss. That could have been a really good potion if I hadn't screwed it up. The solution is in there somewhere. We're just going to have to do a better job of it next time. What are you? Magical vision. Okay. Noted. Put that one out for sale. What else do we have out there? Anything? Did we get hints? Clues? Tips? No, but there's a lot of unexplored map past that sleep potion, so if we get a good deal on... Well, honestly, we could just use Tangleweed. What gets me the furthest out there? Tangleweed, currently. I would like something that goes even further beyond. I only have four. I'm going to wait for tomorrow to do it. I need to buy so much water bloom. We go through it like crazy.
Okay, give me all this. Got it. The Fisher's back. As soon as it takes the bait, goes mad and swims like hell. No line can hold it. Potion of slowing. I got the hookups for you. Yeah, I've got a healing potion for that. I don't have a healing potion for that. Just kidding. Um, I need a healing potion that's not dependent on that life root stuff. Let's see what we can do about that. We could do Terraria. I wonder... Let's try something a little weird. Which way does this hook? It does... There is a point where it hooks down. We might be able to do a Terraria and Tangleweed kind of deal here. Oh, it's going to be really close. Again, if we can pull this off, we will be gods among alchemists. You need to get, like, right in the middle. I'm going to say that's as good as we're going to get. Now, if you show me three, I'm going to flip out. Oh, come on. No. No, he's not good enough. That's got to be in there somewhere as well. We'll find it one day. There you go, 28. I don't think it's even profitable to do, honestly. Those healing potions are only like 30. Stone skin? <laughs> Nothing for stone skin. Uh... Hmm. We do have some capacity to go over. Do we have anything else that kind of helps us? We could gold thorn into something, probably. Alright, fine. Here, give me one of these. Take it over. You're gonna go down for a bit. Kinda need to go over for a bit. I don't want to burn a weird shroom to do it, though. Whatever, just try this. If this doesn't work, I'm kicking him out of my store. It's going to take us precariously close to a bone wall. Okay, we're fine. And then once we get to, like, here, what can we do about that? Anything? No, we've been in this spot so many times before, only to realize that there's nothing you can do. That I don't really know what else to tell you, except the Tangleweed might produce you a three-star potion. Ice Fruit also would. But I've literally never seen Ice Fruit ever again. Water Bloom I don't think is high enough. But I am kind of nervous about the prospects of all of these, to be honest with you. Our safest bet is... Let me zoom in. So Water Bloom is, I think, going to overshoot slightly. Oh, Tangoweed's going to overshoot massively. Ice Fruit would be the safest. If we only have one recipe that uses Ice Fruit, because it's already kind of like a bizarre shape, I think that's okay. We'll just make sure we always have like five or ten Ice Fruit. And we'll know that all we do is use it for potions of stone skin. Okay, line it up. And then dilute. Okay. I'm pleased with it, overall. Save it. So let's start a... Let's start to, like, actually get organized here a bit, shall we? So you are going to be... 
potion of iron skin, parentheses, life leaf. And then you are going to be, and do we want a different flask for it? That's fine. And then you are going to be potion of iron skin. Uh, ice fruit. And I'm also looking at this recipe and I'm like, I think we could drop that mushroom for another terraria. So if we get the opportunity, if we have life leaf again, I want to remake this potion uh, without using mushroom and using a third terraria because we know that'll work. Anyway, you're going to be like a, we'll put you in the same bottle. I, as far as the customer is concerned, they do the same thing. You know? Like, they're not going to know any different. Anyway, finish that potion. Here you go. Just who I wanted to see. Oh, and you wanted to see me too. Extremely thorny. Potion will protect you from thorns and spikes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's just... I, mm, I just sold the last ingredients that I had for that. If you sell me some, I can help you. Druid's rosemary. Holy cow, that looks great. I'll take 20. What is this? Goodberry? We've seen that before. Ice fruit. Uh, give me like five, and then I can use it to make the potion you need. Also, feather bloom. Wow, that goes far. Um, I do kind of want that too, eventually. But I don't have a plan for it now, so I'm going to skip. I will... I'll just pay you straight up, and then I'm going to go and make you that potion really quick. It's this one that you want, now that we've got the ice fruit. There you go. What kind of potion do you do? There you go. Yeah. Enjoy. Gerald is back. Potion that imbues your blade with magical power. Would you like lightning? Just, I've had it for a long time. Just take it. You need a healing potion. This I can do for you. Just kidding. This I cannot do for you. Is it time to try to love again? Is there something that goes just like a little... Wow, that's kind of crazy. That's a that's a solid druid's rosemary into Terraria if I ever saw one. I think. We might actually overshoot. No, let's try this again. I believe that somewhere inside of us, we have the ability to do this. So what was it that killed us last time? We weren't quite far enough down. So this needs to come all the way down. It's gotta be in there. I'm gonna do this. Mulch me the whole thing. And then I wanna finesse it once I get over there. There's never going to be a dilution step here. It's just going to be precision and skill. Although saying that, I think there might be a tiny dilution here. Come on. Come on. No. No, the best I can do is two. I don't think that potion's in there. I tried it twice. It's not in there. Potion made from three types of ingredients. Plain and simple. Lock on your door is stuck. That's going to be a... Let's go ahead and dissolve your door potion. With three ingredients. A lot of stink mushroom. Will get us to where we need to go. A lot of mushroom will get us to where we need to go. And then what moves us like this? Sulfur shelf. I think I can do it in two. Call me crazy. But I think I can do it in two for you. Let's 
It's going to take a lot of stink mushrooms. It's going to take you perilously close to the bone zone. And then you're going to come... We need to do one of these, and then we can do a sulfur shelf just to get us away from those bones. And then we need to come down using... Oh, it's so pretty. But we can do better. No, that's not going to do it. Uh, it's going to be close. I wish you went just a little further, my friend. Oh, Goldthorn kind of does it. It's still not going to be perfect. Also, I'm pretty sure if we just add one more stink, stink mushroom... It'll actually get us on top of it. Let's check that assertion. I think this will work. It's going to take a lot of fancy distillation, or dilution, but I think this will work. So take me out here. We're fine. Okay, and now that you're here, zoom me in for the precision control. Dilute. Move it a little further along. Dilute. I think this is going to work, you know? I really do. Dilute. Move it just a little further. He's exactly on that dotted line. <laughs> Let's go. It's a beautiful potion. This is getting saved. Where's my other strong potion of acid? I like the dangerous potion section. I'm going to leave that as it is. But let's start a new organizational like system for it down here. So this is... Wait a minute. No, that's, that's the new one. Wow, this one's pretty good too, actually. I pulled that off with six and four. <laughs> That's kind of insane, actually. Uh, I maybe should have checked that. So this would be... Um, let's see. We want to give them flashier names than just, like, Ultimate Potion of X. We got the Potion of Iron Skin. We'll say that this is, like... Uh, what's a what's a mythical creature that has, like, you know, spit that dissolves stuff? Like a basilisk? Is that true? Do basilisks dissolve things with their spit? So we'll call this a, uh, a, a file of, eh, a file of melting with fire bloom is what you are. And then you are also a file of melting, but you are stink mushroom. Also, I hate this label now that I look at it. I do like the round flask. Maybe we should have like an apple-shaped flask so it sits better. Oh, that's too big. That's like a balm. Am I using this shape yet? Not really. Okay, let's do that. Let's take the label off. I don't think a, an acid potion really needs to be labeled. You'll probably know. It's like a very don't drink me shade of green. It's like Mountain Dew green, so you should know to not put it in your body. And then the acid is, or the icon is going to be the acid with the shield. Oh, but the colors are all wrong. Uh, custom colors. I wish I could copy and paste colors. What are you? What green are you? Is it you? No, you're like a shade darker. So it's you, but a shade darker. And then the acid part is like a dark green. No, it's like a greenish brown. It's like that? Yeah. No, it's not quite. It's more green than that. 
I'm so sorry that I have to do this live. <laughs> it's still not right. It's more green. Yes? Yes. Okay. We did it. See, that wasn't that bad. Okay. Finish it. Here. Melt your lock. I'm not responsible for buying you a new lock. We can level. Show me more of the map. Aid in my explorations. I kind of just want to get down here. Do we have stuff that gets us down there now? Yeah, we could use up like all of our druids, Rosemary, to just go look down there. Why not? We can buy more. Let's get in there. What you got down here? Bones. Bones is what you got down here. And no real sign of a dotted line, unless that's a dotted line? I don't... I'm not really in a rush to go back down here. I guess I could. But I do feel like that's a dotted line. What if there's a gap in the bone wall here? We'll never know unless we try. There's not a gap in the bone wall there. Which we now know, because we tried. But maybe it's thin enough that we could sneak through? No, almost certainly not. But there is a potion in there. And not only is there a potion in there... No, it's a it's a tilted potion. So we couldn't even get it to two if we wanted. Well... You already know what I'm thinking. We're down to four Terraria? Never mind. Uh, I need to go up. It's kind of a waste. But at least we know now. Take me up here and then just like shadow Chanterelle me into another corner of the universe. Get me some XP for it too. It'll be appreciated. I want to go very diagonally. Yeah, which mushroom will do it? Show me a potion out here so I haven't wasted my time, please. Maybe. The rosemary doesn't really get us in there, but I think it'll be okay. I think we can live through that. Okay, we can live through that. Now what do we got? Just a mess. Just a mess of stuff. I'm invested now. God, if you could just be like a little further down. You think you could do that for me? You will absolutely not do that for me. Well, no, because then we're going to go down no matter what. I don't want to do that. How do we get through there? I guess we use a water bloom? That's dangerous. I'm going to have to use you without any kind of processing. And now can we just... No, you can't. It's not the right angle. Ooh, you can Shadow Chanterelle, though. Shadow Chanterelle up to the top of that arc. What are you doing in here? You don't even know what you want in here. Nice big XP. Mm, yeah. It does move us down a lot. We could get to that. We do have plenty of stink mushroom to make that journey. So I think we're going to use you, and you're going to go to, like, there, and then we'll stink mushroom it. Okay, we will get a potion out of this. And there's also all of this out here. I see a dotted line again, so there's another potion out there. 
Uh, you're like not really super going in the right direction anymore. If we can get you really far down, then Sulfur Shelf could haul ass to that potion. So let's get you to like here. And then your Sulfur Shelf. Oh, it's gonna take me through bones. I flew too close to the sun. All right, fine, we'll use Fire Bell. And then, sort of, that's, we could potentially dilute into something. This is also, we could potentially dilute into something. But it doesn't matter, because we don't even know how to tilt our flask yet. Oh, I overshot it. It doesn't matter. Getting close does not matter. Weak Potion of Poison Protection. Sure, it's a horribly inefficient recipe. I will not be saving it. Set it out. And then it's almost 8.30, so I think that's where I'm going to be done, because i got to go grab something to, like, eat. But we've got a lot to do next time we play this. We've got, like, four different potion effects that we need, and we don't even know where they are. We need a bunch of materials and ingredients so that we can keep exploring the map. we got to finish the rest of the, uh, the Alchemist Stone or the Philosopher's Stone, the Alchemy Machine, whatever. There's plenty of stuff to do here, so... I will catch you guys around for that next time, whenever that happens. Probably tomorrow after we finish Against the Storm, if we've got enough time for it. Otherwise, I will definitely be playing some of this this weekend. So, I will catch you guys around for that, if you're interested in stopping by and taking a look. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your night.